are like drops of water in the mighty ocean. Without our love, we cannot sustain ourselves. Without our self acceptance, do we exist? How can you not be of love? You are here on this earth. If you cannot find love within, you are blocked by your fear of it. The spiritual path is to find out why from time to time the love you give may not always be wanted or returned, but there's also a lesson in this. Give what a person is willing to accept, not just what you want to give. You may very well overwhelm the person and drive them away. Love that is forced on another is not love. Learn to give with sensitivity. It will be easier for you and others to handle if a person can only accept a thimble full of love. So be it. If you do cross paths with someone who does not want to receive love, what do you do? Allow them space. Do not harm them or harass them or intimidate them or threaten their life. Is this not love also? Our Lord Jesus Christ, when he was sending his disciples out in Matthew 10, 12 to 14. And when you come into a house, salute it. And if they have you worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it not be worthy, let your peace return to you. Verse 14 says, And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when you depart out of that house or city, shake up the doors of your feet. The Lord did not say, Tell them or cause them who refuse our friendship or message of goodwill. For all of us that have begun our evangelism, I'm too old for that one now. <laughs> if they refuse to hear you, don't cause them. Even if they tear the evangelical pamphlet in front of you and throw it to the screen, just say, May God forgive you, God bless you. And walk away. <laughs> Amen. Amen. When our Lord Jesus Christ, despite his holiness and love to all mankind, suffer reproach condemnation, betrayal, and persecution in the hands of those he was sent to sacrifice his life so that they can be saved without them realizing what they were doing or saying. They also attested to the love of God. Listen to this. His own enemies, they also attested to the divinity of Christ. What happened? Now, they also attested, they say, our family our belief that Jesus Christ came for you and I, for all mankind, so that we may be rescued from hell. In John 11, 50 to 51, when the Spirit spoke through the Jewish high priest, I, I, I'm sure all of us know who's Caiaphas. Caiaphas was the high priest, and he was the one that was also planning to trap Jesus Try Jesus to bring Jesus to a pilot so that he could be crucified. So, so, so Caiaphas was an arch enemy of Jesus Christ. And he said something when he was communing with all the Pharisees. He said, What are we going to do? He said, It is better for us that we should kill only one man so that the whole tribe of Israel can be saved. It is better for Jesus Christ to die so that all of us can, because if, if we allow this revolution to continue and Jesus preaching drive people out of the temple, the Romans will come and start killing everybody. They will kill more people. So let us take Jesus and kill him. What a prophecy fulfilled. In Isaiah 53, Five. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. He was led like a lamb 
to the slaughter and yet he opened up his mouth. So Caiaphas did not know that he was also fulfilling promises, a prophecy about Jesus Christ. So now tell me, people of God, will Caiaphas, a high priest, who condemned our Lord Jesus Christ and took him to Pontius Pilate so that he could be crucified, ever confirm or attest to the messiahship of Christ? By his death and crucifixion, we are saved, of course. No. And this is to show you the greatness of the living God that you and I are serving. A seeker after truth in search of love throughout the whole world. And at the end of his search, he concluded, in search of love and peace, I walked the desert with my tunic but found no clue. Even in Jerusalem, the city of David, it was all in chaos. I then asked myself, can human race ever overcome hate? The master provided the answer. God cannot cast out any child away. The Jew, the Greek, the Samaritans, and the Africans are all equal in his sight. And why should men and women fret and quarrel like children in their place? He said, the line that separates sons of men are made of straw. And just a single breath of love will blow all away. Love is so powerful. It can bridge any gap. And so our Lord Jesus Christ left us with these words in John 14, 23. If anyone loves me, if he obey my teaching, my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. He who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. And in John 15, 9, he said, As the Father had loved me, so have I loved you. Now, brethren, remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands, and remain in his love. And he summed up in verse 12. My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. Can we bow our head of prayer? Heavenly Father, we come before you to magnify and glorify your name. We, as the body of Christ, give you all the praise and honor you deserve. Help us all to unite and pray together as a congregation. For we know we are two or more are gathered in your name. You are with us, O Lord. Bless us, O Divine Father. To find unity with each other. To work together to deliver your word. For we know man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. May we be a blessing to others as we strive to be more like Jesus. O oh, loving Father, kind, caring, compassionate, loving, giving, forgiving, and humble. O oh, Lord, as we work together to build your empire, let us be the light that leads the world to you. God, teach us to be good role models to people around us so that when they see you and your love within us, they will want to know you more and more. Amen. Grant us the patience to work together. Bring us all together as a family. Let us work together with understanding and compassion in our hearts. Let us not be rude or arrogant towards one another Amen. as we light the way to your heavenly kingdom. Amen.